one, go. Welcome to the IDEOS team presentation on our final synoptic projects, which are associated with the Ring of Gullion area on team. The clan brief is a document that a clan will provide to a development team, which contains a list of all the needs relating to the project at hand. We have been tasked by the clan to design a game revolved around one of the five topics given in which we chose the Old Irish Goats of Armagh project. This game must educate the public about this topic and contain an appealing character, last between five to ten minutes of gameplay, include an appropriate GUI with a range of accessibility options, contain audio and special facts, is consistent in style of the event and location chosen, contains credits and cutscenes, be built for current platform of choice, be created for using, using standard development software, and include collaboration logos from SRC and Ring of Gullion in the credits or star screen. After a lot of brainstorming and idea pitching, we feel as though we've come up with an idea for a game that meets all of these requirements. In the lands of South Armagh, the old Irish gold is becoming hard to find. You must take control of one of the few surviving members of the species to go on a quest to restore your family's bloodline. Explore the natural beauty of the Ring of Gullion from the wide open follies to the treacherous mountain summits. Discover hidden secrets and valuable treasures. All your way through the creatures of the land and try to find your mate. Will you be able to restore the old Irish gold species or will it be lost to time forever? For the genre of our game, we have gone with a 2D side view cartoonish fighting style that is an open world. We have researched a variety of the games for their fighting style, movement, camera battle view, so we decided to include some games that inspire us for a project. Zelda for its top-down view style, Metroid and Mega Man for its side movements, Rohala for the combo style. Our project will be Peggy 12, so we can implement more combo styles. This will be focused on teenagers that are in Northern Ireland and UK, as well as people from different countries. This will show that teenagers will have more intentions in learning and getting to enjoy a game. We have decided this rating based on our research towards the best. Hello? Oh, I did not mute my mic, sorry. We are going to be designing our game for Xbox, PlayStation and PC. Since our game is a 2D game that does not take a lot of power to run, the game will run perfectly on all these platforms. Our story begins when an old Celtic god visits our protagonist in a dream where they inspire the player to restore his family's honour. The player will set out on a quest through an interactive open world where they will search for a suitable mate that will help restore the old Irish goat species. These rare goats will be guarded by dangerous enemies so the player will have to explore the world and find equipment that will help them in battle. The game ends when you restore the bloodline to 100%. This story is heavily revolved around the old Irish goats of South Armagh project and we will make reference to this project wherever possible. We decided very early that we were going to use a cartoony art style. This is because our game is meant for children to learn things about the old Irish goats. For as such, such as the chest in our game that we want people to be drawn to, we gave them colours such as purple to stand out and attract people, but not so much that they would not fit in the world. The character has two variations for the two different iterations that you can get during the game. Also, all of the goats come in different colours. The squirrel is designed to be cute, as it is the character that the player interacts with the most. The environment of the game is based massively on the Ring of Gullion. Our game environment is going to be focused on the cartoonish style of it. It will include other exploring areas with educational purposes based on Ring of Gullion, as well as bosses and caves that will guide, give the player more exploration. We will also implement different special effects to help the environment sound like heavy raining, strong winds, leaves taken by the wind, weapon effect when swinging. Our camera view will be seen mostly wide shot, bosses it will change to a side scroller, and for the cutscenes it will be extremely close up. The game begins with an establishing shot spanning over the hills of the Ring of Gullion area, where it transitions to a zoom-in shot of a cave entrance, where inside the cave there's a sleeping goat that wakes up to the sound of angelic music playing and the image of the old Celtic god descending from above. He then sends the player out on his quest, and then the player will the game will transition into an open world that was broken into sections, which the player can unlock by defeating enemy bosses and finding a suitable mate. The next generation of the old Irish goat species will then set out to repeat this quest in other sections of the map with the hope of restoring the bloodline to 100%. The open world will be full of enemies to watch out for and you will be able to find caves that contain hidden treasures that can aid the player on their quest. However, these treasures will be protected. Thank you for listening and watching our presentation. If there's any questions, please let us know. 
Well done. Um, that was a good sort of background on your concept. Um, it was really clear and explained well. Um, and you made reference to, you know, the specific requirements in the client brief, which is brilliant. I, I was just wondering throughout, so you were talking about the main character, but you also then had the, the squirrel in there as a guide as to, you know, what it will visually look like. But thinking of the squirrel, where did, where, you know, where did that originate from? Did that come through your research and, you know, what's found in the Ring of Gullion area? Um, yeah, so uh, we basically look, we were basically like combining, like you know, the, the other Dragon the Hill project talked about the other species that were around the area. So when we were um, thinking of putting enemies in the game, not there's what we looked at, but we found out, you know, uh, some of those common species around the Ring of Gullion area are grey and red squirrels. So we're kind of actually talking inspiration from the old Spyro games, you know, where he okay. has like the sidekick that pops in every so often just to fight a bit of dialogue to the game. Yes, yeah. yeah. So that there's right. basically where that idea came from. Thank you. Has anyone else any questions that you want to ask before finishing? In relation to the settings of your game, do you have any, are you planning on having any options for say people that are hard of hearing? Oh, accessibility or options? Content? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's it's in the client out, uh, outline, so we're gonna have to address that. We're gonna put in a lot of options in the in the options menu, you know, like tax size, um, yeah, volume, uh, color blind options, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.